God, you're sorry. All right, guys, so welcome back to the Roger Sarn podcast where we talk all things Army, and I'm your host, Sarn Cruz. And today, I just want to touch on a subject that I saw on the Facebook page. It's the ACFT community page, and there's some type of, um, I guess, doubt when it comes to the 540 exemption and the 540 removal from being flagged and adverse action against that. So... Um, before we do that, hold on, before we do that, let's go ahead and, uh, give a shout out to all the new subscribers. Uh, we're talking Zach Knight, Nick Puga, Gabriel Caras, Eduardo, Chris Kowalewski, at Newbie MK7. We got Jacob Rivera. We got Elijah Ronin, Freelancer Rafi. Uh, we got Ed Garcia, Jonathan Hubner, and Sweeta. Oh, Brittany W. Hey, I appreciate you guys, um, so far. If you guys have got me over the 400, and uh, we're still counting. Let's get to that 1,000. Help me get to the 1,000 so YouTube can start paying me for doing this stuff. All right, so real quick, let's go into the agenda. It's, uh, we're talking about the 540 exemption and uh, talking about the Alarac 053-24, which if you haven't seen the video, I'll link it somewhere around here so you guys can go back and watch it and then talks about it but we'll look at that uh, memo as well and then ultimately the flag removal uh what i want to do in this instance i want to go straight to the facebook page real fast and um i don't know it might be a little too small for you guys you can't probably see it um i'm kind of old so i don't know how to get the uh writing or the screen bigger but whatever we'll move forward i'll read it to you so the alarac 053 slash 2024 notification of army body composition army body fat assessment for the army body composition program oh, what the hell is going on uh it's it's an update on 31 july 2024 so the army g1 and g9 have asked to provide the following clarification to the field concerning this alarac and i quote a soldier can be released from the Army Body Composition Program and have their flag lifted if they meet current height and weight standards, body fat percent standards using the authorized one type tape test. Try saying that five times in a row. Or the supplemental body fat assessment, which we know that's the bod pod and the other two methods, which are not coming to my mind. Or if they meet the 540 exemption with 80 in each event on their record ACFT. So the purpose is to provide the notice of AR 600-9 is being revised. Therefore, effective June 9, 2024, the one site circumference based tape method and supplemental body fat assessment are the only authorized methods of measuring body fat composition. But you guys already knew this because I put this out already. As of the 9th of June this year, we've only done the one site tape test and we're going by that. And you watch my other video about the uh, memo, which shows all the changes at the bottom and what they're going to do, right? So the reason I want to read this is because if we go further down in the dialogue, you'll see the confusion. Um, I haven't like clicked on each person to see what their rank are so they can be any rank but the point is that there is confusion and i would take it that these are leaders and just people in the army it could be junior soldiers as well so it says so if i'm reading correctly g1 and g9 are asking that 540 exemption be added as an additional release criteria from abcp question mark but it's not official at this time and then another person right under them says yes that's what i'm getting from it and then another person says it says or and then here comes the clarifying comment. It says, no, it's official. They're clarifying the intent of the Alarat, which is official guidance pending the release of the new update of AR 600-9. If you read the comment on MillSuite, it gets a little clearer. So if you go on MillSuite, you'll see it. There's a there's a whole thread about it, which I um I also have here. So, and then the next person says, I've seen 
people be exempt from getting tape the taping portion of the test due to the 540 with, with 80 in each event. But if you're already on the ABCP and failing tape, there's about a 98% chance you're not passing the 540 total with 80 in each event exemption to get off the program. It kind of has a point. I mean, if you're kind of like over, overweight, but not in a, in a fit way, then you're probably not going to pass it. But if you, if you're just big, like just huge individual, then you, you probably have a, a better chance. And then the next person says, is this not reading that a soldier can meet height and weight screening table and be released from ABCP? And then it says in 3-13, it states you must meet body fat standard. The addition reads like you can just meet height and weight requirements. No. And 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 if you continue down this uh, path, you'll see that it just keeps going with individuals who are just like they just have kind of doubts. And that's OK, because, you know, when everything is new, then we all kind of get a little hazy and we we just want clarification so here's the Alarat 05324 if you watch my other videos you've already seen it you already know what it's about it's just telling you everything that has to go with oh shoot everything that goes into the um army body fat one site tape test uh circumference it tells you about the uh exemption it talks about what compos do it do have to take it it talks about, uh, so under the exemption, so they'll, it tells you that they're only required to fill out the admin portion if you have a 540 and above. And then it talks about the guidance of um, the supplemental body fat assessment. And it keeps going and it keeps going. And it talks about how to enroll soldiers into the ABCP. It talks about the flag code, as you'll see right there. However, if you continue to go and you continue to go, down it's going to show you the attach which is attachment one it's going to show you what the new regulation is going to be looking like because it's going to have the new information because obviously they have to change it because it's just the uh, the one site right but that's not the point the point is going all the way down you'll see here as it shows the one site tape so here's the point 15 march I can't highlight it. 15 March 2023, the Army uh, has the directive of 202308, right? Actually, before we go into there, I'm going to show you what mill suite is, where, where the mill suite confusion that they're talking about or the clarification. And again, it has the same blurb here. And then right here, this person asks, Clarification question. The update note at the top says 540 ACFT score can be lifted, can lift the flag. However, it's not mentioned in the Alarac. Where is this information? And thank you. And just like I, I, I did a TikTok on this today or yesterday, I can't remember. In reference to this same uh, mill suite message, just the whole subject. This is just the longer version. It takes time for regulation to get updated and in the meantime on um, when they're updating regulations what they're going to do is they're going to drop memorandums alarax they're going to drop um uh, milper messages all sorts of directive supplementing the change and just like you see last year when they did the one site tape test it they implemented for 12 months and then it went hot in june same thing here um the person answers this question and says, there's a, there's a 540 with at least 80 in each event. It says it here, and then it directs them to Army Directive 2023-08, Army Body Fat Assessment, and then it keeps going. The reason why I bring this thread up in particular is because we, if we don't pay attention to, to the uh, Alarats that come out prior you won't be able to piecemeal it. So you'll be in the, and in, in, in not, not, you'll just be unaware. And just like this individual right here was unaware because they have not read it. And this is the Alarat right here, which is talking about the exemption. And I'm just going to slide all the way down to pa paragraph five, alpha. And then we're going to go down here. As a matter of fact, never mind. 
Five Alpha just says 540, 80 in each event, and you don't have to do the circumference base test. And the exemption is not retroactive. Cool. Got it. Move forward. Five two five alpha bullet two says soldiers enrolled, meaning past tense that they've already been enrolled in the body composition program who achieve the approved exemption requirement in paragraph five alpha, which is this one right here, which is 540, 80 in each event, will be released from the ABCP in accordance with AR 600-9 paragraph Paragraph 3-13, and their flag will be lifted pursuant to reference one Charlie if, and then it, and then this right here just keeps going. If soldier, if soldier, if the exempted soldier subsequently fails to meet exemption standards, the soldier may be subject to provisions in 3-14, which is the the 36-month thing, whatever. So if we go into AR 600-9 and we talk about, hold on. Uh, one Charlie, we're going to go down to, oh, shoot, tripping. Uh, 3-13, and their flag will be lifted pursuant to one Charlie. Now, here's the thing. 3-13, one Charlie. The following documents will be filed in IPERMS upon the soldier's release of the ABCP per 600-8-14. All one Charlie is going to tell you, see, 3-13, Charlie is telling you to do this right here. That's it. This is all they need. That's all this is telling you. Notification counseling, soldier acknowledgement, all this stuff. And this is just to remove them from the program. And that's the thing about this. Like, you have to piecemeal it. You have this one right here, this directive right here, which was put out last year. You have this directive right here, which was put out this year uh, in July. And this is telling you we've already changed it. We've written it down. And now we're just going to go ahead and uh, update it, which is going to take a while. In the meantime, go by this and continue to use this with this supplement and this supplement right here. That's how you stay up to date. It's super tight. Trust. Oh, God. I know how tiring it is in when it comes to re staying up to date and uh, putting in effort to even find this stuff. And this is why, like, I think social media is so good because if it wasn't for social media, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to find this. I would have been lost. And this is where I get all my information that I put out to you guys on TikTok. This is literally where I get like army here. I'll go, um, I'll go to the S1 guru and I'll get all this information. Like I did a TikTok today about this right here, about how to do the, what is this called? The letterhead, I don't make this stuff up. I just, oh, Takashi's on there. Gross. <laughs> I just, um, uh, what do I do? Oh, yeah, I just go on, 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 on social media to these pages, and I just click on them, and I, and I just stay up to date with that, and I put it out to you guys because um, obviously not everyone has the time to do it. I'm just a single I'm a bachelor with nothing else to do in life, so I just stay home and I podcast and I put information out to junior soldiers and junior leaders and hopefully senior leaders as well see this. And uh, hopefully the Army is a better place because of it. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I think that was probably my, sh my shortest podcast ever, pos podcast ever, probably like 15 minutes max. Uh, yeah, 13 and a half, almost 14 minutes. So if you enjoyed the content, please do me a favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. Be a sponsor to the show by just hitting the like button and subscribing. I'm trying to get YouTube to pay me for doing all this stuff. Help a brother out. So in the meantime, remember, you don't have to embrace the suck if you got the right tools in your ruck. I'm Sergeant Cruz, and I'm out. Peace. Roger, Sergeant.